Stacey Dash oh. and the new competition uh, in her run for Congress. Do you know that uh, there's been a lot of buzz about Stacey and people think that she isn't, uh, that she's an interloper. She's not really part of the district. Well, she's an interloper and she's super conservative in a democratic district, and a super democratic district. We're talking Compton, some Lynn North Lynn, Long Beach, Watts, Lynn Long Beach. Beach. So, I mean, Watts, places that, you know. Places that Stacey honestly doesn't know nothing about. Okay, so, Raquel, so hold so on. So here's the person, so <laughs> I think uh, after Stacey made her announcement, there are a lot of people who said they just don't want her to even have a chance. And so uh, they implored someone who is a huge hero in, the, uh, in, that, in that area, in that district, and that would be Compton Mayor Asia Brown. She is, uh, who she, is, she is a star in, in, in Southern California. She's done a... A star uh, in politics in Southern she's California. She's a star in politics. She, yes. She's been mayor of Compton. She's really raised the profile of Compton and done a lot of good things. And I was told that... A week ago, she had absolutely no intention ever of running for Congress, or at but least it, in the foreseeable future. But it was a week ago when Stacey made her announcement. That's right, and so everything clearly changed. this they, they are connected. Got calls from Congress people, people in the district, all sorts of people saying, you gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run, so guess what? She's going to run. Yep. And um, for the 44th district, she will honestly probably kill Stacey because she knows the district. Now, Raquel, you shouldn't take a position I'm on this. I'm not taking a position at all. <laughs> I'm honestly not. I'm you're, just you're, saying you're, what sources close you're to Compton tell me. Sources and close say to Compton. Compton's a city, Raquel. <laughs> you can't have an inanimate Wait, did object. Did you say sources close to what Compton? What is sources? <laughs> Raquel, the only source close to Compton okay. is Linwood. Because, well, yeah, there it goes. Okay, Linwood also. Well, guess what? No, but, She's but not Raquel, invited to a lot of bar black oh. barbecues, so I know this. I, I can sit there. I'm a part of black Twitter. I speak no such thing in as existence. Black I'm, I'm a part of them. What is she? I speak in existence. I don't know what, what she's doing. On. Look, okay, right, let, you're not let, taking some. No, but real seriously let's, though, let's Asia focus. though, yeah. um, she honestly has done a lot for Compton Switch the Streets. Kendrick Lamar, Nipsey Hussle, YG, a lot of them have all honestly, she's brought them to them. Just recently last week, she brought Disney to Compton with Ava. Wow, Oprah. Yes. Oh, Oprah, Serena, and that was Serena and Venice with their whole opening the courts with Compton for tennis. She's done so much for the city and so no, much she, she and is, it's tremendous. She is a an absolute star. Now she is running as a Democrat in a very Democratic district, Which I might add. Which will certainly help her. And um, Stacey Dash is running as a Republican, so they're not going to compete in the primary, but if each wins the primary, then they'd then face they off go. in the general. Now, what I am told Ooh, from people around debate? Asia is that they don't think this is a cakewalk because their, their feeling is that, and I'm surprised at this, I'm actually surprised at this, because you would think Donald Trump would mobilize the left and get them mm -hmm. to go that out to the go polls out. to get rid of this guy. But sh People what I'm in her told, camp think that they think it, that it's, it's created enormous apathy among voters right. that they've given up, and that it's going to be and really that, hard to get people out and to that, vote. And that Stacey Dash may actually may actually be able to mobilize Republican voters because there are Republican voters, uh, and she will could could actually you know I, I can't I, I still can't see her winning. The seat. No, nor can but I. I do understand what they're saying about you know, vote about voter apathy if, that it could hurt Asia. So. If if um, Asia Brown does win this, um, Asia Brown would almost instantly become a national force because she's got such a base, yep. and you know, and she's very smart. She is just very very smart and savvy, and she could end up. I mean, I'm telling you, if she wins. Uh, watch out for Asia Brown so, because she's going somewhere. So for everyone who's ticked off at Stacey Dash for running for Congress, there may be a silver lining. See, you could end up getting Asia Brown a bigger national profile because it seems like she wasn't going to run for the seat until Stacey Dash ran. We give you options here. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kiki in Atlanta, and I just wanted to say that I think it's great that Asia is going to run, and hopefully this is a wake-up call to people that you've got to get out and vote because uh, Stacey Dash, like, no, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> You know that you See? know the campaign slogan is going to be Stacey Dash, clueless. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's the problem. See, as soon as she announced she was going to run, I, I was know. like, that's it. That's uh, what it's okay. going to be. So we're taking, what if, what if, you know, on the ballot where they say that you, you give your profession and it says Stacey Dash, clueless. She could win because of that.